This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles guide. Today we are taking a look at the Dungeon of Dagon. Let's get to it. Alright, before we jump into this thing, quick disclaimer, because there's always somebody in the comments that's like, why didn't you fight everything? Why are you in God mode? Get out of God mode and just fight stuff. That's not what this video is about. If you want to see somebody take 12 hours to kill all these bosses legit style this isn't the video for you this is a quick tutorial guide rundown of the overall dungeon to show you the main interest points where you're going to get the new recipes and each of the what each of the buildings hold essentially and where to start where to exit all of that shenanigans so that's it i'm going to show you the bosses show you which Creatures of the bosses, I'm going to whack at them a little bit so you can see the kind of damage they are going to take. This is the build that I'm using here. So you can see the build. I did pay no attention to this. I cheated this in so I could carry all the crap in my inventory. Your main thing is you're going to look at my strength. So I got strength almost maxed out and I'm going to be hitting them with the predatory blade with the spiked uh, weapon fitting on it. So that'll give you an idea of the kind of damage they're going to take. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill them with the shift delete command and just insta kill them and I'll show you the loot that's on them. All right, so let's get started with this. So if we take a look at the map here, I am all the way over here, right here. You can see where I'm at and there is a boat right here. This is your entrance. Before you go to that boat, you want to come over here and look at this thing and hit E to interact. And you've learned the broken ore. It's this right here. It's a freaking two-handed mace, but it's just a stick. You swing it around, or two-handed hammer, sorry, not mace. You swing it around like a two-handed hammer, like it's really heavy. Look, it's a very, very heavy, very heavy stick. But uh, yeah, it's it's basically crap. It's for, it's for fun. Does 17 damage, 27 armor pin, sunder, all of that good stuff. Okay, so now that you've seen that and you know how to get that, let's get that out of there. Okay, so this boat, this boat is how you're going to get to the Sunken City. You can see when I look at it, it says travel to the Sunken City. Hit E. And that will teleport you here. Now, you can use this. Right now, I'm not going to teleport back using this because it's broken. If I look at it, it doesn't say anything, but if I was to hit E, it teleports me into the middle of the volcano. Like, legit, under the mesh in the volcano so I'm not going to click it but that'll get you back if you decide to you know you don't want to do this anymore and you change your mind now you're just gonna run you don't have to run up this path this whole area here can be explored uh, if you go too far though I'll show you what happens you can actually go too far off the map you just fall to your doom so there's really nowhere to go but like I could just run over here and jump in the water here and then start exploring the dungeon because you can see Part of it over there uh, the other thing you can do is go up to the top here and I'll show you the main pathway what you will probably more than likely do because there's people up here to kill is walk up this way and then there are these two guys right here so one of these is not a boss we got a little little lag shenanigans there I don't know why I rolled I'm in God mode but uh, or should be in God mode there we go. Now I'm in God mode. So we got this guy here. This guy is a mini boss. You can see he only has one skull. And uh, if you have something like the Predatory Blade and decent amounts of damage, he's going to be relatively easy to, to tear down. But uh, he also doesn't drop anything serious. So there you go. He dropped a little bit of coal. The other times I killed him, there's been some uh, armor. They do drop Lumerian armor. We'll probably find some here. Then there's this guy over here. If you look at him, you can see you can hit E to interact. You do that and you learn the, the Lumerian Axe. And if we take a look here, I have one in my inventory. It does 51 damage, 13% armor pin. All this stuff that, not, none of the stuff from this dungeon does anything too crazy special. It's just normal weapons. It looks neat. Uh, the modeling on it, I don't know why I'm standing like that, but you can see the modeling on it looks really good. It's really, really well done, well created. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a normal axe. Okay, and continuing on, we run down this path here. So we're going to run up this way. I didn't, I explored around a little bit. I didn't see anything on the island. Uh, just basically follow this path here and uh, we'll kill these guys. Kill this one. And none of these, none of these guys are bosses. So let's see, did this guy drop anything good? No, just your average, your average stuff. 
they do drop the armor. So there you go. You got the Lumerian War Boots, bonus accuracy, and high grade, 32 armor value. So they do drop that armor. Uh, you could see that it also needs to be repaired. But, I mean, that could stop you from having to worry about crafting them if you, for some reason, wanted that armor. I guess you could come here and get it. Okay, so we're going to come down here, kill this lady, another cultist of Dagon. She died, and uh, maybe we can get her body down there. We knocked her boots and everything off of her. I don't know where her body went, but she's pretty much going to have the, the same shenanigans on her. Nothing special. So then you just dive off the side, and now you're in the actual dungeon part. Once again, you can go over that way. You can keep going that way, and if you swim too far, I'll show you at the end of this video what happens, but you're going to swim down this way. You cannot interact with any of these fish. They're there, but not there, so I can swim right through them. Uh, this is going to be your first entrance right here. If you have water breathing potions, you're going to want to use those. Or if you have the Riptide Spear, that is also going to help you out. We're going to do a little quick teleport to save time. Uh, then we come into this area here, and we have three guys. Well, one guy and one lady, you get the general, or two guys and one lady, you get the general idea. And they're just normal, and then this one is a uh, mini boss. They have two normals in here, and then you have one mini boss. And uh, he dies. Nothing, nothing too serious on him. And I can't even get to his inventory. He doesn't even have an inventory. And she doesn't have anything serious on her. What you're after here is this right here. So this is going to teach you the Lumerian sword and shield, which is actually the hook sword and the captain's wheel shield. So I'll show you those real quick here. And if you take a look at their stats, nothing crazy. Hook sword, 47, 8% armor pen, and shield, 41 uh, damage, 12% armor pen, shield smash. 7,000 durability, meh. 1,243 durability, meh. But uh, they look neat. Uh, you can see there, I really like the look of the shield. It looks like it's covered in fish skin, or... I don't even know. It looks really good. I love the look of the stuff. I wish I wish they had added special effects. Some of the special quirky effects that we're seeing on some of the stuff that you get out of the unnamed city. It would have been really nice had they added some of those effects to this stuff. It doesn't even have to be anything like crazy OP. Just something to make them unique because other than their look, they're not unique at all. And you're going to have much better options. But none of this is anything. None of this is anything. Uh, just pretty much you're going to come in here, kill those three, and then get your recipe, and then get out of here. There's nothing nothing else in here besides that. Okay, so now we're going to jump back down in here, and we're going to swim out this way. And our next one's going to be right over here. So once again, that's where we jump down. You can see the boat up there. That's how you know where you jump down. So now we're going to, we're going to go to this one next. We'll just teleport over here to save time because swimming is slow. And then here we are. So there's one guy in here. And now this dude is a fish guy. So, and he is also a mini boss. Other than that, there's nothing else in here. You can see nothing over here. And then we'll come over this way. And nothing over here. This is the dude that you're after. You want to kill him. You can see he is a mini boss and he uses a spear. And he's... He's going to be a little bit more difficult. Look at that reach. He's got crazy reach. Uh, he doesn't have two crazy hit points, though. Uh, he's got... Well, I guess I guess he does. For being a single skull, he's taking a lot more of a beating than the other ones. There's another one that's similar to him that dies a little bit quicker. And that's the one I was thinking of when I just said that he's just not too bad. You can see he's going to take a bit of a beating here. And he doesn't... He doesn't drop anything except the scales. They're new, so I imagine that they're used in the crafting recipes probably for this stuff. I have not looked at the crafting recipes for these, so I don't know. But uh, there's two different kinds. There's the scales of Dagon, and then there's just scales. So I don't know what those are used for yet. Like I said, I assume they're used for all of this stuff. But uh, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't looked at the recipes. Couldn't be bothered. Not worried about it. That's not what this is about. I'll look at the recipes when I do the spotlights. Anyway, you're going to come here and you're going to hit this. That's going to teach you the Trident, which is the Trident of Dagon. 47 damage, 8% armor pin, 1,917 durability. Once again, absolutely mediocre. 
Nothing special to it. I wish that the I, I mean that would be a perfect one to give water breathing to. Except you can't you can't equip it. But if they made it so you could equip it and made it I don't know just anything. They're just so lackluster that it's extremely it's extremely disappointing. So we're going to this one next. We're gonna go in here, and you can see that Dagon's telling us stuff. It's like they got this is like this room's completely out of place with everything else in Conan because it's um it's mechanical as you can see so you got three guys here that are just little basic guys nothing special kill that one and then uh they're, these are the same so you can see that one is the same and uh did you really just block, block me bro so once again these guys are just basic fighters they're not bosses and they drop just random random goods nothing special again uh well there you go if you're looking for more lumerian stuff then you don't want to craft it you can get it from these guys as well this guy here is your boss now this here is poison if i step in it you can see it poisons me so you don't want to step in that now he's slow and lumbersome and somewhat easy to deal with but he does this attack here. Is he gonna do it? He does like this spit spray attack. We'll see if we can get him to do it. And he's only a single skull, but you can see he's he's damaging a lot more than, or taking a lot more damage than the previous one. I want him to do this attack because I really want you to see it. I don't know if he's gonna do it though. He like leans forward and spits. Are you gonna, you gonna do it? He's not gonna do it till I'm, I'm just gonna mess with him a minute and I'll cut to him doing it. All right, here he goes. He's doing it now. So you can see he spits. That's a really cool attack. I mean, it's just making use of the poison gas cloud, like, you know, reusing assets. But I thought it was really cool. So he does that. Other than that, that's about it. He does the swipes and he should be relatively easy for you to take down. Just watch his patterns. Once you kill him, the poison goes away from there. He drops more scales and other random shenanigans that I uh, probably don't care about. Then you're going to come to this tablet here and you're going to learn Dagon's breath, which is this right here, breath of Dagon. And it's just a water breathing potion that lasts longer than the normal one. So now we're going to head back out. All you have to do is just look at this, by the way, and hit E and it opens. And now what we're going to do is we're going to swim across to, so that's the one we came from. So we went to that one over there. And then we went to this one. Then we came to this one. Now we're going to go to this one over here. And this one, you got to like swim down a little bit and then swim up. It's a little, little different than the other ones. So then you got this guy here and he is a mini boss, another spear, but this is the one. You can see this one's taking way more damage than the, the previous spear guy. Like look at this, like he, he has like half the hit points, half the armor I guess. I don't know, he just takes a lot more damage. That's, that's new, I haven't seen that attack before. But um, yeah, so he's, he's not going to be nearly as hard. He was the one I was thinking of as the, the other one there and uh, more scales and then there's a bunch of chests that just have gold and silver in them i'll show you what you can find in them and then there's one over here and there's one here and that's pretty much all you're getting from this area here there's there's no other tablets or anything like that that's all that's in that one so then we're gonna jump back down and now we're gonna swim back up out of here now that's the one we came from over there and then the next one that we're going to go to is right over here. And at first glance in this one, you may think that there's nothing here. There's that poisonous cloud thing. You want to bypass that and you're going to come on over this way and swim down and then swim over to here. And it looks like there's nothing here, but there is, you can actually swim up, up here. Then we're going to swim up here. Now this place is interesting. Uh, for a few reasons and I'll show you once we get in here. So there's another boss in here and uh, there's these little maggot things. See these little things here? What's interesting is these continuously spawn in here and uh, I'm not going to kill them all. I'll show you this guy. He's a big lumbering guy and uh, you notice he's a different one than the previous one we fought because he has a blue 
glow on top of his head. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty much the same, though. Doesn't really do anything too, too crazy. He does that, like, slam, where you just saw that was a little bit different. The other guy has, like, a bite attack. He's got, like, a pushback attack. There. Okay, that's it. So, you get the idea. Boss-looking dude. And he drops scales. Now, what's interesting is these things here, if we kill them, and you can see they're, they're very glitchy. So, I'm going to kill all of them. Okay, now, if we hang out here long enough those respawn but what's interesting is you can harvest those for volatile glands so if we go there volatile glands ichor and meat there's another one see they just keep spawning out of there and i was in here for quite some time and they continue to spawn non-stop so this could essentially this is like the most important thing I found in this dungeon because this is more or less a volatile gland farm and ichor farm. You can just come here, watch. They'll spawn again if we wait. They should. Uh, then, but there's this tablet here. We'll get to that in a second. They should spawn. Well, we'll go look at the tablet first. So we look at the tablet. We interact with it. That gets you the deep sea fisher feet, which gets you. I don't know why I keep hitting the wrong button there. The improved fish trap and the improved shellfish trap. And I'll do a spotlight on those at a later date, so look forward to that video. But you can see it just spawned three more. So we'll kill those. And they die pretty easy. And they don't give me any negative status effects or anything like that. The one thing I did notice is hitting them is kind of a pain in the butt at times. You might be better with a different... Uh, I was having a heck of a time with a spear. It was almost impossible to hit them with a spear. Something that does large sweeping attacks is probably your best bet. Large two-hander, something like that. Then you probably hit them pretty easy. But you can see there, I just totally missed both of those somehow. But uh, yeah, it just, it just keeps spawning them. So if you need a ton of volatile glands and ichor, this is a great place to come. Uh, other than that, you're after this tablet for the deep sea fisher for the improved fish traps. Okay, so let's go back out of here and we'll go to the next one. Okay, so our next one is basically straight across from here. We're just gonna teleport a little bit here. And it's not letting me, oh, there we go, teleport again. So this one is a little bit different. You can see that uh, it looks like, um, I don't know, like library or what have you. But you got this guy right here, and he, you can see he's different than all the other ones we've seen so far. He's got daggers. He is also a mini boss. He's a dagger mini boss, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're just going to murder him. And he drops scales, of course. Scales, there you go. And then you want this tablet right here. That is going to teach you the Lumerian... Lemurian, whatever, however you pronounce it, you know what I'm saying. Aloe extract, which is uh, this right here, the infused aloe extract. And what this does is the normal aloe gives you three HP regen per second. This gives you five. So just an improved healing potion. Okay, so now we're going to go back down out of here. Now, the next one we are after is this one right here. This is your last one. This is where the boss is at. All this other stuff here, this is your wall to block off. It's just, it just makes a loop around and I will show you that So we're uh, when we're all done here. So we're just going to go into this one here. For some reason, teleport works sometimes, doesn't work other times. I'm going to get there before I actually manage to teleport there. There we go. We managed to teleport. So this is where the boss is at. Now there's a lot of interesting stuff in this one besides the boss. So we're going to go in here. You can see there's all these people and they're like trapped. If we come over this way to the right, we got some little guys here. These guys are nothing. They're just little normal fish guys that drop random. You see what he dropped there. Then we have this guy here. This guy is a mini boss and uh, he is a spear mini boss. We're going to kill him. He will give you scales. What you're after here, though, is this lever right here. This opens all of the dungeon doors. Now, pay close attention because this is very important. This thing is on a time limit. You can actually get stuck in these things if you're not careful. And if you get stuck in you know, in one of these, the only way to get back out of them is to kill yourself and take off your bracelet. So if you pull this lever, you can run in here. These people are actually friendly. And you can see they're not attacking me. They will kill the fish people if the fish people are still around. Uh, there's a chest here, a bunch of random shenanigans in it. 
there are chests in this one once again just random some silver there these really don't have anything other than the silver if you're after it that you're going to be too interested in now if we come over here there's this one it's got some more people in it there and they they don't do anything and as you can see they're starting to close again so what you'd want to do is loot these pull the, the lever root loot the, the two over here this one doesn't have anything in it as you saw then you're gonna pull the lever again and just start running to give yourself time to loot this one here in the front because this one has a bunch of chests in it if you want to loot these you can see there well that one actually had uh, had a potion in it elixir of vigor and uh, you know silver gold all of that good stuff and then we can run over this way and there's more over here but you'd have to run past these guys I don't think no there's nothing in that one there and there's a, a fighter in that one you can actually get those guys trapped in there <laughs> But as you can see, they were trying to... Oh, they actually glitched through. They'll fight them and help you. So if you're looking for some help to kill these guys, they will uh, they will get in there and help you with that. You can see this one's over here fighting this one. But uh, there's nothing in that one. And uh, there's a guy in that one. But there's, there's no reason to get in these. I mean, if you wanted to get the people out or whatever or run over here so that they get out and fight these guys... That's about your only reason for running over to this side before it closes. Your main reason to hurry up and pull that a second time is to run up here and get the ones in the front. Okay, so we're going to continue on. I, I think you get the general idea here. We'll kill this guy. They are doing no damage. And uh, you can see just crap. They don't drop anything. Anything serious. I'm just going gonna, gonna to murder everybody. Okay, there you go. So everybody's murdered. Uh, there's some more boots. Once again, if you're looking for just random armor, you can put that on your thralls or, or what have you. He dropped a uh, instructions. So I'll let you read that. And uh, we've seen. I think this one's already in the game. It's the one there where it says buy the anchor, all of that, whatever, blah blah blah. Okay, so we're gonna continue on. You continue down this path. This leads you to the boss room. There's a guy here. He is not a boss of any sorts. Just another little dude. Nothing special in his inventory. And what you're going to do is you're going to open this door. Dagon's going to talk to you some more. We got a room here with these little grub things in it. A couple more guys here. So we can kill them. They're not. They're just the normal guys as you can see from their health bars. No little grub there. Nothing special. Just Lumerian stuff. Lumerian, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Lumerian. And uh, nothing on either side here. You're going to open this door here. Just look at it and hit E. I love the smatter. Like, he lost his leg. Like, it got chopped off by the door. And he didn't make it. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. But uh, now what you got to do is you got to come down this way. So, you're going to fall and you should be able to make these falls from each side to each side without taking too much fall damage you don't want to fall straight down that's not going to be that's going to hurt so then you fall down and now that guy there that guy there are not a boss that guy's a mini boss that guy's a mini boss that guy's a mini boss and she's a big boss so here we go see one skull kill him he drops scales these guys right here nothing's just normal normal guys now these are ones that we've already fought before you can see that's the green one that shoots the the corrosive spit and then that's the the body slammer like I like to call him the body slammer so there you go we're gonna kill those because you already know what they are they're the exact same ones you just fight them again more scales for you now if we come up here this guy he's nothing he's just a normal the just the old normie she's the normie Kill her. This lady is your final boss. She's got three skulls. And uh, you can see she's she's pretty easy to damage. I'm doing doing decent work on her. But she's using daggers and she's flippy. So there's that. Uh, we're going to just murder her. She drops more scales. There's Dagon. And uh, we just freed him. So that's that. Now, you have a choice of going out of this side or this side. They're portals. They take you to two different locations. Uh, that one's out in the middle of the desert somewhere, and 
I think this this is the one that takes you back to the boat or close to it. You can see that's back to the jungle. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to go back up out of here and I want to show you the loop and what happens when you go too far. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to do the loop around here so you can see what basically what it looks like. See the whole area. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to speed it up because she swims very slow and I don't know how to increase swim speed. So she's just going to see a sped up version. Okay, and that's pretty much it as you can see it's just all open and barren there's really there's really nothing there this brings us back around you can see there's the boat where we originally jumped and this is the takes us back into the dungeon area here okay so uh, we're gonna go out this way and I'm just going to go past the point of no return so you can see what happens it looks like water clear throughout there but what eventually happens is you hit an air pocket it still looks like water but it's not water and you can see that like it's not even completed here there we go so I don't know why I'm not falling the last time I swam out this far I fell but we're definitely past the point of no return here and for some reason I'm not falling this time but uh, we're out in the middle of nowheresville there we go now I'm falling so there you go. So that's what happens if you go too far. All right, and that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.